how can I leave you to wars such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Seida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will be to make this quick. Arif has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. Favors and personal dedications you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer part of your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog have recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care.
foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. I 
witness your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of Korof. After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. Give a thala her letter and follow where she goes. privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You will warn you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I offered myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must 
must hurry. The letter commanded Athala to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. Yet another painted mouse.
You should bring him before the medallion court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by strict hero statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as Alpala. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch, or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was. While Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Oh, 
I'm going to go hunting with Jewel. You're welcome to join us if you want. I'm not liking the way you can say This will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. I was just making into Kabiha's office. You are no eunuch. Leave now or I'll tell Nasrin. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Magira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Omovalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? 
the key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 